How's it going everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Mike here. Today, we're gonna do a comparison video based on your questions. So standing behind me here are two of our airplanes. This is the Viper SD4. Um, I've already done a nice intro to this guy and I've done another intro to this guy. So as you can see right now, they're sitting right next to each other. These planes are built and designed with the same airframe. Um, but what's different is the instrument in them, also some of the equipment we get uh, with each of them. And of course, one is priced lower than the other. So today I'm gonna answer some of your questions. Stay tuned. So first, let's talk about what makes them the same, because these are practically the same airplane, but they're also different in several ways. Now, if you come with me in this guy, what's also similar with these airplanes is you've got this giant canopy, which by the way, in the Viper SD4, you have 53 inches of cabin width, which this is the best in its class, right? The sitting configuration is the same. Uh, the uh, baggage area is the same. It's a stick and rudder airplane. And of course, if you look here in the middle console, these are all the same designs in all Viper SD4s. You have your power lever here. You've got your handbrake. And then of course you've got your um, fuel selector down here. This is your flap switch. In this airplane, it's down here. In all the Viper SD4s, it might be here or might be in front of you. And of course, you have a parachute. So this being the entry level airplane, you have your standard prop here. This is a, a fixed uh, three blade prop and you have a standard one on this airplane. On that guy, it's quite different. I'll show you something else that's different. Meet me out back. So if you come back here, this airplane actually has a towing hook so if you come down here you've got a hook right here that you can tow gliders in this airplane and as i said this is a very entry-level viper sd4 it's one of the easiest airplane you can learn how to fly in and or fly after you get your certification now let's go to the guy next door <laughs> the first thing that you notice about this guy is it's it's dolled up so you've got even the paint scheme on this thing you've got some yellow silver some black highlights uh so this is cream of the crop right and so you've got a different paint here which obviously adds to the tab of the airplane but also if you come up front here you see the paint scheme of the airplane travels through right and of course you come up here, also same thing in the interior. Now, this is where most of the differences happens uh, in these with these two birds, right? So in the in that Viper SD4, you've got just one sky view, a dyno sky view. Here it's dual. So you've got your primary display and you've got a secondary display, both 10 inches. Um, also, this plane has a backup Garmin G5 and you've got this trig equipment here which allows you to shoot IFR approaches. Now, remember what I said about the flaps? So if you recall, the flaps for November five, uh, 450 Echo Alpha, you have your flaps in the middle console here, but here you can even put a uh, small cup of coffee, which I would not recommend. Don't, don't drink coffee while you're flying. Uh, but you got a little cubby here or cup holder. Um, and then the flaps, which I like better. I like my flaps in front of me. So the flap switch for this airplane is right here where you can reach it in front. And then your parachute on that airplane, you have it here, but on this airplane, it is here. But similar design in terms of the middle console, that's here, and of course, you've got your brake. And as you can see, this plane has more clothing. So even the stick that you're uh, holding has a nice leather wrap to it. Again, these are just some extra premium features you would get with this airplane. It comes with better than standard equipment. You see both planes already come with some of the latest equipment standard. What I mean by that is safety in these planes already comes standard. So you get a parachute from 
both the entry level and the mid level airplane. So that comes standard. You've got glass avionics, Dine on Sky View on both. And of course, you have similar sitting configuration and also the same cabin width. Some of the cool features that set this guy apart, as I mentioned before, this plane has a carbon fiber. Um, prop so this is different from what you get standard on that airplane um, it doesn't increase the performance by any means that's another thing they're similar in their performance numbers so you're going just as fast you're climbing just as fast in both airplanes there's no difference uh, you just have little little things here and there like I said the Calvin design also the same um, a lot of the differences are inside now with some of these planes you may get a bigger fuel tank but guess what in both vipers actually look at this in this airplane you have 12 and a quarter gallons of usable fuel and as i said with all road tax powered planes you can use car gas so in this plane you've got 12 and a quarter in this plane let's go check it out in this airplane you have 11 11.9 gallons of usable fuel so i mean it's not a ton of difference um one that you probably wouldn't even notice uh but the, the tanks are pretty standard um what really sets that guy apart is i would say this is more for a nice just fly about where this is a little more show off you want to show off to your friends and or you want a nice aston martin or ferrari looking loud airplane you would go for that guy over here but here's the best part guys whether you're looking to get into flying or buy an airplane i highly recommend a viper sd4 partly i'm biased we actually purchased this airplanes to use on our program and the reason why we went for the viper sd4s is because these guys have higher gross weight so your standard for special light sport is 1300 pounds in the viper sd4 you've got 77 more pounds so you can carry more weight but also these are some of the easiest airplanes to fly, which is why when we introduce it to our students here, which that could be you at any point, when you get in this thing, you're flying day one because it's a simple stick and rudder. You're not doing much with any lever. You've got your power and you've got your stick and rudder. And if you wanna get started flying, I highly recommend getting in one of these airplanes. And of course, for this holiday, we're also launching our own program to get you started. No longer are you waiting because, oh man, flight training is expensive. What if you just wanna get a taste of flying? Maybe you don't have $25,000 sitting in the bank account or $100,000 because that's what it's gonna to cost to get a commercial pilot license if you just want to get a taste of what it's like to fly an airplane and get the knowledge portion right now we've created a program just for that and it'll only cost you twenty five hundred dollars twenty five hundred you get some flight lessons you get to sit in class with flight instructors and you get the basic and intro to fly but guess what because you're tuning into mojo grip I'm gonna make this even better. You will get a thousand dollars off. That's right, a thousand dollars off. I'm willing to take the hit. I will give you a thousand dollars off to introduce you to flying. So that same program will only cost you fifteen hundred dollars. Okay, I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. Also, look on your screen. You can go to lookupflightacademy.com or for the intro program, you can go to flydriving.com. And from day one, I'm gonna introduce you to this guy or this guy you get to fly in the newest and latest airplanes and also we have a great commercial flight simulator in the hangar all right so check us out and of course if you have any questions about this airplane or that airplane or any airplane in general you can reach out to me mike at mojogrip.net that's mike at mojogrip.net Okay, thank you all so much for spending time with me. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe and also share the video. Again, my name is Michael. Thank you so much, and uh, I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.